Hello and welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at another mod. Now this mod you might recognise from many, many years ago, because it's been on the workshop for quite some time, and it's been updated over the years to make it compatible with the current game, and it's called the Titan Thrusters. But this time, this is called the Titan Thrusters Remastered, because it's basically taken the original mod, split it up into modular pieces, and added animated effects to give it a very fancy overhaul. So this right behind me are all the different blocks of the Titan engine, which you might recognise when it's fully built, which is what I've got sitting right behind me. And there's a perfect display of the animated effects. We've got the O2 H2 generator in the middle, which is spinning around, where you see the hydrogen tank at the very right hand side. Then on the left hand side, where the thruster spew is coming out, that is all fully animated, but we'll see that later on, because it'll open and close as you turn on and off the thruster. But yes, turning my attention back around over to this lovely platform. What I've done is set up all the blocks onto this, so we get clear view of what's going on with them. We'll go and deconstruct them, reconstruct them, so you can see all the little stuff with that. And then we'll go and test it out, show off the animations, then we'll see how it handles when we upgrade the good old Albatross with some absolute crazy thrust power. Yes, these engines will produce 42 million tons of thrust, and that is per engine, so that's absolutely insane compared to the vanilla engines. So this one here is your hydrogen tank. It can store 90 million hydrogen inside it, and well, it's got a very fancy ball design. We've got pipes coming out of it. We've got plenty of connection points around the bottom of this, so your default conveyors can come connect up to this and attach it onto any kind of standard designed ship. And then on the side there, if I put my light on, we can see how that pipe comes out of the ball into the base, which is basically how the hydrogen is going to get into the tank and out of your base or your ship, wherever it's being pumped over to. Yes, over onto this side, we've got these little legs. They're not landing legs, but you could actually make them into landing legs if you wanted to. Slap on some magnetic plates onto the bottom of that. Yes, this is designed so it can actually look quite fancy when leaning up against the wall, and you can use it as attach points depending on what you want to do. Moving all the way up, this is a little blue section at the top here, where we can see sort of a sort of reflection of the area behind me inside it. Then moving all the way up and looking down, we then got another connection point and a lovely round surface that just so happens to fit all the other stuff in this mod pack. Moving all the way down and underneath this thing, down to here, past the platform, there we go. Plenty of connection points underneath here for all your connecting needs. And I think that's about it, the Hydrant Tank. Now this thing right next to it, we've got two different versions, one animated, one not. If you want to use the one that's animated, we will need to have a secondary mod to actually make it work. I think it's called the Animation Engine. I just have it in my worlds by default. But yes, it spins around on the top there, and looks very fancy compared to the other one sitting right next to it, which looks unfortunately quite dull in comparison. So we once again got those little legs on the side if you connect it up to stuff, say so just have it hovering onto the wall using them as connection points. Then on the side here, we've got a pipe that comes down to the base, all the way up to the top, and a bunch of little pipes in the middle just come from the base into this rotating section. Onto the side, there we go, that's all we can see. Onto the base, not too much to talk about, just a nice little bit of detail on here. And all the way up to the very top of this thing, there's your rotating section. At the very top, another connection point with, like the other one next to it, a lovely round circular area that just so happens to fit everything else on this. Moving all the way down and I need this thing, here we go, a singular connection point, unlike the one next to it that had multiple. And the other one is going to be identical, and yes, there's a bunch of reactors keeping this thing powered. And there we go with that static one right there. Now we can move across to the ending part, the actual part that's very signature to the Titan design, and that's the thruster nozzle, where we've got four different ones to go through. So we have two different versions, one animated, one static, then you get one with a base and one without. The ones on the right hand side are the animated ones, the ones on the left hand side are the static ones, and they are basically the same with their model, but it just changes when we actually put power to them. So looking at this one, we've got a lovely base all the way down it, having a cheeky look underneath, we've only got one connection point. Moving up, a bunch of lovely little struts come from the bottom to the top, moving around onto the side, there it's the same all the way around this. Moving all the way up, some lovely design with that, then looking all the way down, now this is my favourite part of the Titan engines, look at that, that's absolutely fantastic to see. And it just looks like a bunch of teeth that's going to open and close, which is, well, what's going to happen when we go to the animated ones. But in the very middle, we've got a bunch of reflective metals just reflecting the skybox. Now we can move all the way down into the middle, and look at that, absolutely fantastic. And right in the middle there, not too much else to talk about. As for the one next to it, it's simply got a round bottom instead of a square. And I think that's just about it, the outside of all of these. So without further ado, I'm just going to get my character into this cockpit, because I've got everything all set up and ready to go. Putting my camera over to these two. And I'm just going to switch the power on, and there we go. It's just a nifty little thing as we turn on and off the power. It'll be a bit different when we actually put it on the ship and have the thruster coming out of it. And that's what it looks like when just standard on a static grid. If we had to move the camera all the way up and look down at it, put my light on for the moment, doing that one more time, so where that opens up, and now closes. Getting a better look over at this one, opening it up, 
There we go. Closing it once again. That's what it looks like. And I suppose we can look at it from this angle. Here we go, we're now inside the thruster, opening it up, closing it. So yes, one hell of a lot of work has gone into this thruster. But yes, now we can turn our attention over to this big boy in the background. So what I'm going to do is just slap a cockpit onto the front of it. So I need to get my character out of the seat. There we go. Fly all the way over it. Put that on. Put a cockpit onto the top here. Anywhere will do. Let's just go and slap it onto this. Make sure it's the right way up. Now we're just going to hop inside it. So I'm going to come to here, turn off the thruster override. So here we go. Now bring free hammer back over. Go to the side that has the sunlight. And in fact, just because the platform's behind me, we'll now move the sun all the way around. There we go, that'll do quite nicely. And what I'm going to do is now turn this into a ship. There we go. And now we're going to just boost it. There we go, it's now boosting all the way along. And away it goes. If I try and match the speed. And then boost it one more time. There we go, it gets a little puff out of the bag. Kind of a terrible demonstration, so what I'll do is just skip over to the Albatross. Slap it on top of that. And away we go. In fact, I don't need to use the Albatross. We've got this lovely ship from the previous video sitting right next to it. So now come all the way up to this. And it's time to, well, get my character out of that ship, try and rescue him, bring him back over here, there we go, and put the damners back on. So yes, to set this up, like I said, it's a modular design system, so we can put it however we want. So I think what we'll do is now just remove these thrusters out of the back. So goodbye large thrusters, we don't need you. And we're going to come over to here, and we're going to put the hydrogen tank first of all. So we're going to go and put this down on the side here. It's a very big block compared to the other stuff. So that is the standard hydrogen tank in the back there. And I'm not actually sure if it's going to fit into this little gap like I was hoping. So what we're going to do is now just build a little platform off it and go from there. Here we go, go move this all the way out. That'll do. Get rid of the antenna. We don't need that. This one can come out as well. And now we can come back over to this block. So we're going to go put down the hydrogen thruster there. Go put another one right next to it. Bit lopsided, but who cares? Now we can go put something else in front of it. We can always put another tank if you want to, so we can always just rotate this all the way around. Stick onto the side like that. There we go. Put one the same on the opposite side. And that's still all perfectly connected up. We just got loads of storage instead. Now we can move across to the O2 H2 generator if you wanted to, or you could just skip over to the thruster part, depending on what you need on your ship. But for this demonstration, we will just come over to the fuel generator and just slap that in place. So here we go, go grab this one, slap it onto the back here, right in the middle. As long as we hit one of the connection points, it'll be fine. And that's a very good example of the little connection point on the side, just slapping it onto a wall if you need to, or like on the top of the bottom of a ship. That should do quite nicely there. So there we go, that's not going to animate itself, spin all the way around. But we might need to move it across a little bit, because it is a rather big block. There we go with that one. There we go with that one. And now we see it spinning around in all of its glory. And it's time to grab the animated version. So here we go with this one. Now we're going to spin this all the way around, and just shove it on the end. So there we go with that. There we go with that, and now we are good to go. So to drive this thing around, what I'm going to do is, unlike the terrible demonstration I did a second ago, so we're going to put a chair right in the middle here, so hopefully I can move the camera backwards enough, and we can see it moving around. So there we go, we've got two thrusters, each giving 42 million tons of thrust, and here we go with the camera at the bank, it's now all set up and ready to go, moving forwards. There we go, look at that, it's now closing to shoot out its lovely thruster at the bank there. Look how quickly we went to 100 meters per second. Coming to a stop, they now open up once again, getting a better look at that from this angle. And moving forwards, coming to a stop, absolute fantastic stuff with that. And yes, before I end this video, what I was going to do right now, to kind of got carried away with actually testing these out, is hop out of this seat, and well, head over. Oh, that's not my character. Where's my character gone? There he is. Went for the one on the planet. Yes, I didn't show what they look like when you deconstruct them, then reconstruct them. So here we go with the thruster at the back. We're going for the one in the sunlight. Third person view, so we get a good view of what's going on. Hiding all of that, coming all the way up to it. And we're just going to grind it. There we go, there's the first state. It's very nice with that. Grinding it a bit more. There we go. And then doing it one more time, should be the killer. And there we go with it gone. Moving over to the O2H2 generator with the spinny parts right here. There's the first stage. So we can clearly see some stuff inside there. Doing it again. There's the second stage. We now remove the rotating parts. And coming all the way up to it one more time. Got now another one. So we remove some of the parts at the front there. So we've got two tubes. Then doing it one more time should be the killer. And there it is. It's gone. Moving over to the hydrogen tanks. So we come up to this part with the ball. First stage. We now remove all the panels on the outside. Remove the pipes. Second stage. There we go. Not too different. We just lost the base at the bottom there. Doing it one more time. We now lost the framework all the way around the ball. 
And then the final one should be the killer. Yes, it is. And there it is, gone. So there we go. A lot of work has gone into this. And it does make me very happy to see these engines again in all their glory, especially the animated parts. It makes them so much better. Yes, that is that for this video. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Oh, apart from the cost, not going to end it just yet. Into here, Titan engine. And yes, as you say, they are quite expensive to build, but not too bad at the end of the day. Perfectly doable in survival mode. And well, you could get a lot of fun out of these, especially on large capital ships that need that extra thrust. So now, thank you all for watching. There'll be a link to it description below if you wish to download and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.